Lin's corpse explosion skill killed that abyss wolf demon and all his subordinate demons. Seeing this, the hunters Lin saved were too shocked, asking, where did this guy come from? No wonder he dared to come to the third battlefield. Other hunters added, is this truly what level 26 is like? Is it that easy to kill? His summons are extremely powerful. What kind of class is this? On the other hand, Yi Yi is very happy because her military rank is rising too quickly. She is already a six-star private. When Lin killed this abyss wolf demon, then he realized one thing. If he wants to improve his military rank, he needs abyss monsters of higher rarity and level. While both Lin and Yi Yi were thinking about that, suddenly a hunter called out to Lin. He thanked Lin for the help, saying that thanks to Lin, they were able to get out of this mess. Lin acted modest and told that hunter that Sheng Xia's people come immediately upon getting the rescue signal, so there's no need to thank him. The hunter laughed, saying this is very embarrassing for them, who are the demon hunting team. His other party member tried to justify, saying that they didn't know there would be a demon sneaking in. Those demon hunters' party leader explained to Lin that the abyss is divided into regions. Surface region, middle region, and finally, deep region. Battlefield 1 to 3 only correspond to the surface region of the abyss. Battlefield 1 to 3 are just the entrance of the abyss. There are many obstacles in the way that prevent powerful abyssal demons from entering Battlefield 1 to 3. Only some weaker demons can sneak in quietly. But no matter how weak that demon is, it's not something a normal fighter can deal with. Abyssal demons are the same as hunters, with level 40 being their dividing line. Abyssal demons above level 40 are extremely powerful. They are called higher demons. In the deepest section of Battlefield 3, there are some areas that overlap with the abyss's entrance. That is where one can see the real abyss. There are more monsters there, and demons often appear as well. Not only that, but there is a dungeon there. The demon hunter leader told Lin that they wanted to go deeper, but they were stopped on their way by the abyss wolf demon. He laughed, saying now that they have seen the dangers, they can't go there to wander around. Lin ignored everything that demon hunter was saying. The only thing he hears is that if he goes deep, he can get more abyss demons. Lin thought this section sounded like a good place to enter to earn military merit. Without wasting time, Lin immediately asks that Demon Hunter where is that section of Battlefield 3. Worried about Lin's safety, that Demon Hunter asks him if he really wishes to go there. Lin, with a serious face, replies, Yes, I want to go there. The Demon Hunter wants to stop Lin, but when he sees determination in Lin's eyes, he doesn't do that and tells him the directions. Lin and Yi Yi immediately depart from there to go to Battlefield 3. Seeing them going, the demon hunter leader asks his party, Is this what a true genius is like? He was very impressed by Lin's power and personality. Some time later, as Lin and Yi Yi were going towards Battlefield 3, they were seeing even more demon hunting teams. Seeing them, Yi Yi said, It looks like we aren't far away from the target. After walking some more, they finally reach the edge of Battlefield 3, where they can see the real abyss with their eyes. Lin and Yi Ji noticed some huge abyss demons with multiple eyes looking at them as they were looking at it. Both Lin and Yi Ji get nervous because that abyss demon was very powerful, and both of them could feel its power from that far. Suddenly, they hear something screaming very loudly. Looking above, they saw a huge thing flying towards them. Looking closely, they saw that it's an abyssal demon. That abyssal demon falls right in front of them. Both of them fall back as they were surprised by it, but that abyssal demon was not moving after it fell on the ground. It looks like it has already died. Suddenly, Yi Yi felt someone's presence in the sky above them. That was a silver-level assassin who was using his invisible skill to hide and hunt the abyss demons. When that assassin turned off his invisible skill, Lin also saw him. Yi Yi told Lin that this is an assassin that is already over level 40. Seeing that high-level assassin, Lin gets assured that he has come to the right place. Yi Yi was happy seeing a high-level assassin, saying, No wonder this assassin was able to instantly kill a level 38 abyssal demon. Lin asked her to let's go, saying, We can't let them beat us. Yi Yi smiles and said yes. She once again was very impressed by Lin because despite seeing high-level abyss demons, Lin was not scared. Both Lin and Yi Yi start by killing some abyss devourers. Seeing their skill, abyss devourers have no chance of getting away from them. Yi Ye gets worried seeing that after both of them have been killing these monsters for half an hour, not even one demon showed up. She asks Lin if there's no way they were all killed by these guys, right? 
but before Lin could say something, suddenly they hear something scream again. Looking back, Yi Yi asks, what is it this time? They saw a group of flying abyss demons who were gathered in one place around something. Lots of blood was dropping from there. Suddenly, they saw someone's hand between those abyss demons. Something fell from that human hand. It was a hell-level dagger just like Lin and Yi Yi. When it fell on the ground, Lin and Yi Yi immediately recognized it. They realized that the hand they saw is the assassins they saw before. That assassin was dead, and something with a purple head was eating its body. Yi Yi was scared, asking that he is so high-leveled, so why did he die so easily? Lin was very alert and asked her to stay focused. The one who killed that abyss demon was a level 40 abyssal shadow demon. It's a higher demon with 18,000 strength, 22,000 agility, 5,000 spirit, and 15,000 constitution points. It has skills like entanglement and shadow transformation. It has the ability to see through invisibility and do halved damage. Seeing abyss shadow demon's stats, Lin thought, to be able to see through invisibility, no wonder the assassin was killed by it like this. He started thinking, is this a level 40 demon because it's not much worse than the elemental queen? As Lin saw that abyss shadow demon, it also saw Lin. It laughed, saying a little brat at level 26 actually dares to come here. Now, one extra meal for today has come. Lin stood in front of Yi Yi to protect her from those flying abyss demons. That abyssal shadow demon attacked them with other abyss demons, shouting, Don't hide. There's no use in hiding anymore. Little brat at level 26 can't protect you, little girl. He laughs, saying, I want the head, but none of them were able to even touch Lin and Yi Yi as Lin's skeleton armor got activated to protect them. Abyss demons were shocked seeing that, asking, What the hell is that? Lin, in raise mode, asks them if they want to fight together, but that won't happen. Lin's body got covered in the green flames as he was very angry. He summoned his skeleton warriors, and all the group around Lin got covered in dark green flames. Skeleton warriors came out of it to follow Lin. Seeing that Abyss Shadow Demon realized that Lin is not that easy to deal with, it used its shadow skill to hide and escape. But Lin was not just letting it escape that easily. He used the Slow Curse skill, saying, It won't be that easy to escape, Demon. At Lin's command, curse chains went towards the Abyss Shadow Demon. As the Abyss Shadow Demon got caught in Lin's slow curse chains, skeleton warriors started attacking it. The Abyss Shadow Demon was shocked that even its shadow skill got caught by Lin's curse. It realized that it had been fooled by Lin. Lin's strength is higher than level 26. Silver grade level 26 skeleton warriors, using their raise strike skills, were continuously attacking the Abyss Shadow Demon from all directions. Lin saw that the skeleton warriors were attacking, but because of the Abyss Shadow Demon's shadow transformation skill, all the physical damage was halved. Due to this, Skeleton warriors could not kill it in a short time. Lin said, This abyss shadow demon is worthy of being a high-level demon. Lin summoned his skeleton mages. On his call, fire, water, and thunder-type skeleton mages came out. Lin said, If it's hard to kill you using physical attacks, then I will attack you with magic spells. Seeing the skeleton mages, the abyss shadow demon got a little scared because it knew they could deal damage to it. As a last resort, the Abyss Shadow Demon used its wrangled skill on the Skeleton Warrior that was very close to it. Using this skill, the Abyss Shadow Demon transferred its shadow into the Skeleton Warrior and took control of its body. As the Abyss Shadow Demon took control of that Skeleton Warrior's body, it got free from Lin's slow curse chains and started attacking other Skeleton Warriors. It laughed at Lin, saying, This curse of yours will not work on me anymore. It backed out to make a big move but when it looked above, it saw a huge fireball coming towards it. Along with that fireball, lightning strikes and ice spears also hit the skeleton warrior that the abyss shadow demon was controlling. It screamed in pain and left the skeleton warrior's body as it was completely destroyed by the skeleton mage's attack. The abyss shadow demon got very annoyed and angry at Lin. It was very embarrassing for it to lose its perfect this fast. It called other abyss monsters to come and help it. Lin looked at the Abyss Shadow Demon, smiled, and asked if it is looking for them. From the back, skeleton warriors came in front and raised their swords. On top of their swords, Abyss Demon subordinates' bodies were hanging. Lin asked the Abyss Shadow Demon to count if all its subordinates are here. It was Yi Yi who killed all the little demons with the help of skeleton warriors, while Lin was fighting the Abyss Shadow Demon. 
She told Lin that she is exhausted because these little demons are very hard to kill. Seeing his subordinates killed and being displayed, Abyss Shadow Demon got very angry at Lin asking how dare Lin kill them. In rays, it ran to attack Lin. Seeing it this angry, Lin said, Then I will give them back to you, demon. On his command, skeleton warriors started throwing little demons' corpses at it. And when they reached the Abyss Shadow Demon, Lin used the ultimate skill, Corpse Explosion. Their bodies started to burn, and seeing this, the Abyss Shadow Demon felt fear. There was a huge explosion in the sky in front of Lin. After the explosion, nothing remained of those demons, only a purple crystal as loot fell on the ground. For killing the Abyss Shadow Demon, Lin got 800,000 experience points and 500 military merit points. He also got the Demon Crystal, which is the purple crystal that fell before. Seeing her hunter badge, Yi Yi was very surprised. She could not believe that she has also been promoted to the rank of second lieutenant. She was very happy and said, If my grandpa knows that I have been promoted to the rank of second lieutenant, he would be so shocked that his beard would fall off. Lin told her that after being promoted to second lieutenant, it takes 10,000 military merits to upgrade to one star. Hearing that, Yi Yi underrated why Lin hasn't been promoted to a star after so long. She said it's okay because she can wait. She told Lin that she heard there is a dungeon nearby and they should go take a look. Lin said, okay, and so both of them started heading towards the dungeon. At the same time, at Shenxia Academy, when Old Ning heard that Bai Shen has sent Lin to the elemental realm, he got angry. He asked Bai Shen if he is crazy and why did he send Lin to the elemental secret realm. Bai Shen told Old Ning that it's crazy, but he just wants to see where Lin's limits are. Bai Shen told Old Ning that large-scale dungeons like Tyrant Desert are difficult to clear, but it can't stop Lin. Instead, it allowed Lin to earn a lot of points. He can clear even the hell-level difficulty dungeon alone. Tens of thousands of demon dogs will be killed easily if Lin wants to kill them. Thinking about it, Bai Shen also realizes that this elemental secret realm can't stop Lin. Meng Anwen asks Bai Shen, Can a hell-level dungeon and elemental realm be the same? What level is the elemental secret realm, and what level are those dungeons? The attributes of the Queen of Elements are comparable to those of a level 40 high-level demon. Bai Shen knows how powerful her skills are. Lin does have a lot of skeletons, but the Queen of Elements is not afraid of group attacks at all. Bai Shen tells Meng Anwen, It's okay. If Lin can't defeat her, he can still escape. It's okay to suffer losses occasionally. At least, they can know where Lin's limits are. Besides, there is still the Hall of Heroes Hall imprint, so Lin won't really die. Bai Shen informs Meng Anwen that not only in the Elemental Realm, but he also asked Lin to go to the Abyss Boundary of the Third Battlefield to kill demons and rise in rank. Hearing that, Meng Anwen was too shocked that he stood from his seat. With a serious expression he said, Bai Shen, did you forget something? Seeing Meng Anwen like that, Bai Shen also understands that it is something serious. He asks Meng Anwen, what's the matter? Meng Anwen tells him that Old Ning's precious granddaughter is also with Lin and she has not left a mark in the Hall of Heroes. So she can't escape death, and if she died, Old Ning will fight with Bai Shen. Hearing that, Bai Shen gets nervous. Suddenly, a shadow appears behind Bai Shen. It was Old Ning who heard both Bai Shen and Meng Anwen talking about someone's death. He asks Bai Shen who died and what they are talking about. Seeing Old Ning suddenly appear behind him, Bai Shen gets very nervous. Bai Shen tells him that it's nothing. But seeing Bai Shen's face, Old Ning understands that something is wrong. Making a serious face, Old Ning asks Bai Shen where he sent Lin for the mission. Seeing an angry Old Ning, Bai Shen tells him that Lin went to the UN battlefield. Bai Shen tells Old Ning not to worry because with Lin, his precious granddaughter will be fine. Old Ning tells Bai Shen that Yi Yi has the soul protecting spell that he planted on her body, so she should be fine. But if something happens to her, he will be the first to settle the score with Bai Shen. Meng Anwen tells him not to worry. With his soul protecting spell, nothing will happen. Old Ning sits down with them to drink tea. Seeing them, Meng Anwen thinks that Bai Shen was lucky to be safe today. On the other hand, Lin and Yi Yi arrive at a very large and dark gate. Seeing that gate, Lin asks if this is the abyss boundary of Battlefield 3, and did the demons who sneak into the battlefield come out of here. While both of them were talking, suddenly that huge gate opened and some abyss wolf demon and demon dog come flying from it. There were many little demons and devourers with them. Abyss wolf. Demons were very happy when they come into the human world. 
they laugh loudly, saying, We demons are here to taste the legendary delicious human beings. They are getting crazy over the fact that they are finally in the human world. But before those demons can go anywhere, suddenly someone attacks those demons using fire, lightning, and ice magic. Those demons were very shocked to see who attacked them. They shouted, How dare you attack us? 